In this video, let me show you how to add jQuery and jQuery UI references for your projects. As many of the projects or videos in this channel are based on jQuery and jQuery UI, I regularly get comments or questions like how to add jQuery reference or jQuery UI reference to the project. As I have already explained it in some of the videos, I usually do not explain it again and again in each of the videos. So those people who do not see videos which are explaining how to add jQuery and jQuery UI referencing might be getting confused on how to add these two references correctly in some of the projects. So let me show you how to add jQuery reference and jQuery UI reference for your projects. So if you are doing a jQuery project or if you want to add a jQuery reference for your project, you just need to have the jQuery reference. But in case of jQuery UI projects, you need to add both jQuery and jQuery UI. Both these two, that is jQuery and jQuery UI are JavaScript libraries. So you need to have the referencing. But in case of jQuery projects, you only need jQuery reference. Whereas in case of jQuery UI reference, you first need to have jQuery reference and then add jQuery UI reference. So you can add these two references either as online referencing or as offline referencing. I am going to show you both. So if you go to the official websites of jQuery and jQueryUI.com, you could get the download and you can download it, save it and use as offline reference. So let me show you that. If you go to jQuery.com, you will see a download button here. And if you click that, you could find jQuery. Download the compressed production jQuery version or download the uncompressed development jQuery version. This production version will be much more compressed and size also will be less. So based on your requirement, you can either go for development version or production version. Both will be having the same functions, of course. So suppose I want to have the development version. Let me click on this. You will see a JS file. Okay, code.jquery.com slash this is a JS file. So what you can do is you can just copy the entire contents and save it as jQuery.js or whatever name you want. You can name it as you want, but .js should be there. Okay, now after saving that, you can have it as offline reference in your HTML page. So I have already saved this. I have just copied the entire contents and saved it and I will show you that. So this is where I have saved it. I have saved it in the name jQuery.js. Okay, now I can add this reference in my web page. So I have already saved a web page. This is a web page. This is just an empty HTML page. That is nothing is added. Only we have HTML head and title. So I have just changed the title to jQuery, jQuery UI referencing. And what I can do is that here, I can just specify in the head section, I can add script src equals jQuery.js. I am adding this like this because this file that is jQuery UI.html and jQuery.js are in the same folder. As you could see here, this is jQuery UI.html that is this page and here the same in the same folder I have saved jQuery.js as well. So both are in the same folder that is why I have just specified jQuery.js. If this file that is .html page and this js file are in different folders we need to specify the complete path. Okay. Now let us check whether this jQuery reference is added correctly or not. So for that let me have a p element with text current text. Okay. And inside the head section let me add another script tag to add the jQuery code and in jQuery we first need to check whether the elements are ready. So dollar document dot ready. I am not explaining this code because, because the objective of this lecture is just to show you how to add jQuery and jQuery UI referencing. Okay. Now let me have a button as well here button with text change. Okay. And here let me add function open and close parenthesis, open and close curly braces and within this on the button click I want to change the text. So dollar button dot click 
and here function open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces and here I am going to access the p element dollar p and I want to change the html value that is the text value right so let me specify dot html and let me change it to new text okay this is just to check whether this referencing is correctly done or not now let me save this let me open this page we are now seeing current text and change button let me click change see it is changed to new text which means we have added correctly the reference jquery reference because here we are doing it in jquery right we are writing the code in jquery so it is working correctly now this is offline referencing because jquery.js is saved on my computer right now if you want to have online referencing what you can do is that you can again go to jquery's official website in the same download section if you scroll to the bottom you could see here using jquery with a cdn so using a cdn which means you can also reference it online in that case what you can do is by visiting https code.jquery.com you can get the online reference so here this is the latest version 3.x so there also you can find uncompressed minified slim and slim minified so if i want to have uncompressed that is a development version i can click this and i can just copy this okay copy and instead of this that is instead of this offline reference i can delete that and paste this that is a online reference here this jquery file is not there on my computer it is referenced from this website that is it is online referencing now let me save this and check the output this is a page let me refresh again current text change new text so using online referencing as well we can do this if you want to have it on your computer itself you can download it and use offline referencing as we have done before hope it is clear now now if you don't want to have it from jquery's website i usually get it from google hosted libraries if you just go to google and type google hosted libraries you will get this that is developers.google.com and here the benefit is that you will find a number of libraries from the same page that is developersgoogle.com and here also you could find jquery you can click this and copy this and paste it there so this is the same thing but we are fetching it from a different website okay now let me save this let me refresh current text change new text so like this you can add online or offline referencing as you prefer now if you want to have a jquery ui project that is if you want to develop a jquery ui project you actually need to have both jquery and jquery ui referencing because jquery ui depends on jquery so you need to have both jquery and jquery ui referencing so in this case as well we can have either online or offline referencing first let me show you offline so this is the official website of jquery ui and if you go to download here you could find the version that is 1.12.1 11.4 you can choose the version you can just have all the components this is default if you don't want any of the components you can uncheck so that it will not be there okay i am having all the components selected then here you can select the theme theme means there are different themes in jquery ui you could find the themes here if you click on themes and go to gallery you could find different themes i normally prefer the start theme there are different themes and different colors based on the theme so i want to have start okay so you can choose the theme from there so again let me go to download and from here let me choose start so this is the theme i want click and if you click download a zip file that is a compressed file with three files will be downloaded it will be jquery jquery ui related css file and also jquery ui.js files those three files will be there in the compressed or zip file you can extract it and get those three files so i have already extracted it here jquery ui.css is there jquery ui.js is there jquery.js is there these three are the required files so you need to have all these three if you want to develop a jquery ui project and when you add the reference 
you have to be very careful that first you need to have the jquery reference if you first add jquery ui dot js and then after that if you add jquery dot js the code will not work so you need to add this one first so let's do that let me remove this line and add script src equals again these are in the same folder so i am just specifying the name of the file so jquery.js then i am going to add the css file so let me specify link rel equal to style sheet because i am adding css reference okay and href equals what is the name of the file let me specify yes jquery ui dot css so css reference is added and let me finally add the jquery ui dot js so script src equals jquery ui dot js this is a file now let us check whether it is working or not so let me try to make an element draggable okay so let me remove this button and we need to have this document dot ready even in case of jquery ui project now let me access the p element so dollar p and let me make it as a draggable element by just specifying draggable now let me save this if you want you can actually style this p element i am not doing that because our aim is to learn how to add jquery and jquery ui reference now let me save this go to our web page let me refresh only current text is there see we are able to drag this element that is jquery ui referencing is also working fine now also in case of jquery ui we can have online referencing so let me show you that as well so in case of jquery ui if you click here you will find only css and js related to jquery ui so as i have already mentioned you need to have the jquery reference first and then the jquery ui reference so let me copy this let me remove these three first let me add this also add jquery uis css and js paste it here now let me save this let me refresh this page it is here let me try see it is draggable so in the coming videos you might not find how to add this jquery and jquery ui reference in all the videos because i expect that you people already know how to add this so as i am getting many questions or doubts like how to add these two references seeing videos which do not explain this that is why i am adding a separate video on how to add jquery and jquery ui reference hope it is clear now thank you